Hey there, Newton here. Welcome to the Bite Size Tutorial Series for FPS. We have now all the basic mechanics we need for our game. So for the last part of this tutorial, we will polish it up. Open up our Godot project, and we will start by importing the sounds that we will be needing for the game. You can download some music at Copen Game Art and generate with SFXR. First on our list is to make the gun feel more responsive. We will add some animation and some flash effects. Add an animation player inside our gun, we'll create an idle animation. Let's enable the camera perspective to view what it would look like. When we have an active animation tab, you'll notice that there will be a key beside the property values. This is where we will key the frames. Select the gun, then the first key is the default translation. Then let's select the 0.5 second of the frame, then adjust the position of the gun. Then key the frame. Let's loop the animation, then let's preview it. We will enable the autoplay. Let's add particle for the flash, then rename it to muzzle flash. At the draw passes, we'll create a new cube mesh, then change its color to orange. On process material, we'll create a new particle. Now, we will set the properties. Now, let's create an explosive effect for the particles. Now for the enemy part, we will add a detection notifier and a death effect. Add the mesh instance, then rename it to notifier. Create a new cube mesh, then set its size. Adjust it on top of the head, then change the color to red. Then we will hide it. Let's add it to our script. Let's create a new particle scene, then rename it to death effect. Then set the properties. Add an audio stream player for the sound effect, then drag the sounds and enable autoplay. Save it to the world scene, then we're going to add a simple script. Add the code inside the onready function. Now let's spawn this when the enemy dies. Add this before we destroy the enemy scene. For the bullet, we'll just add a sound effect. For the background music, we will add an audio stream player on the game event node. Now for the final polish, we will add a directional light and enable the shadows. Now just a little rotation, and now we're finished. Thank you so much for everyone who tuned in for this tutorial series. I really enjoyed making this and I hope to see your works. So that's it for the bite size tutorial series for FPS. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like and comment, and until then, have fun making games, and cheers!